How do the cops know if this gun was used in a crime? Is it by using the serial number? Nah, they actually match up the ballistics from the rifling. What's rifling? Rifling is that spiral you see on the inside of the most barrels. The rifling makes the bullet spin, which stabilizes it after it leaves the barrel. But not all ammo needs to be stabilized. Like, for example, buckshot from a shotgun. The pellets that are fired are spheres, so they don't need to be stabilized. So most shotguns don't have rifling. They just have a smooth bore. Okay, so how do they use rifling to know if a gun was used in a crime? First, they have to recover any bullets, fragments of bullets, or casings that they can find at the crime scene. They take those recovered pieces and then look at them under a microscope. Each gun leaves unique markings on the bullets and casings called tool marks. The marks are made from different parts of the firearm, like the firing pin, the breech face, and the rifling. The rifling leaves striations on the bullet that is unique to that specific barrel. The casing markings are usually unique to that specific gun as well. And once they have taken all those markings in for evidence, they store it in a database. Here in the US, it's called the Integrated Ballistic Information Network, which is managed by the ATF. Now let's say that gun was used in a crime and we didn't know, they would have to confiscate that gun for some reason. Once they have it, they would have to shoot it into water or something so that they don't damage the bullet. Then they would look at that bullet that they just fired under a microscope and try and match it to what they have in the database. And since the markings are unique to each barrel and other parts, they can say for sure that that was the gun used in the crime. So what if somebody just changed the parts or use a smooth bore? I don't know. I'm sure some people do it.